Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we add a new tab in Fusion as well as how do we how do we embed a VBCS page in the Fusion. So in the last session, we have seen how do we embed a VBCS page, but now in this session, we'll also discuss about how do we add a tab, the custom tab, as well as how do we embed the VBCS page in the custom tab which we create in the Fusion. Okay, so let us quickly see the steps involved in it. So one major information is when you're designing the VBCS page, make sure that you set these particular settings like a LO embedding as well as remove the header and footer. Okay, now coming to the steps. The first thing is once your page, your VBCS page should be ready. And once it is ready, get the URL of VBCS page. And after that, in the SAS, create sandbox with the page composer tool selected. Then navigate to the page in which you want to create a tab as well as embed the page. Create a new tab and select the select the new tab and create a component of type web page under the new tab and then provide the web page in the you in the properties of the web page component and click on apply and validate it. If everything works okay, then you can publish. Okay, so let us see this particular functionality now, step by step, by in a live example. So I'll just navigate here. I'm in my Fusion now, so I'll just navigate. I'll create a page composer. Uh, I'll enable a sandbox now. I'll click on a edit page. Click on activate a sandbox. Just create a sandbox. I'll, uh, enable. I'll say create tab and embed page. Okay. And select the tool page composer tool. Create and enter. Okay, now click on home, navigate to the page in which we want to design. So I'll select the procurement purchase agreement page. One minute, where are we? Yep, procurement purchase agreement. So click on the task, click on manage agreements. Click on search. I'll click on edit now. Okay. Now, so what I want to do is I want to have a new tab after the notes and attachment tab. Okay. So wantedly, I selected a page with the tabs because I want to show the tab functionality. So in this one, I just want to add up a new tab after the notes and attachment. Click on tools, click on page composer. Now click on structure. Now select this notes and attachment region, terms as well as notes and attachment region. So here this region got selected. Click, click, left click and click on edit component. Okay. So here in the down, it shows the component. You can just scroll up. Whether if you are comfortable with the right side, you can click on dock and click on right side. Or if you're comfortable with the, comfortable with this positioning, you can just go ahead. So now what you do is, so here just check out. So this terms, this see this panel tab is a tabbing component, the tab component in which you have a two tabs. One is terms, another one is attachment, right? So here if you observe, one there is one particular component which was disabled by default, and could be based on some some business functionality. So nodes and attachment as well as terms are enabled. So I'll click on edit. So now in this one, what we want to do is we want to add up a new tab. Click on add tab and mention the name for the tab. Click on the new tab. Now I'll say VBCS tab. Okay. Click on apply and okay. So there is nothing to change or nothing to add up anything here. Simply click on OK. So now the tab will be available. So if at all, if you want to change the positioning of the, positioning of the tab to the last position, just select the same function, same like uh, the pan tab, click on edit. And here you have an option to move it to the last position or wherever you want it. OK, I'll just select it and I want to move it to down. OK, 
click on apply and okay so now this will be moved to right side next thing is select the vbcs tab okay now in this vbcs tab we want to embed the vbcs page so select this one and click on new component add component click on components click on open now click on web page and close okay so here if you observe as of now we were not we are not in the vbcs tab right so what you can do is and here also it doesn't show the web page component so but understand that like the web page component is created but it is not showing this is the this there are some set of you know like known issues what you do is just close this one okay close this one now you should be able to see the web page component right so the web page component is added but it was not showing the page composer functionality which we had it what you have to do is again enable it click on tools page composer okay now what you can do is either you can click on edit directly or again you can click on structure and you can perform the editing of the properties so this is a shortcut you can just simply click on this particular icon okay now in the source you have to mention your vbcs url so the vbcs url of my instance is this one so I'll just mention this one and click on apply and okay okay So like here it is not displaying because my vbcs page is down if it is up it has to show and this is how we can enable a tab as well as embed a vbcs page okay and now every if everything is okay what you can do the next step is simply click on publish right so you can just simply click on tools and you can select the sandbox and click on publish Okay, so that's all about creating a new tab as well as embedding the VBCS page in the fusion. Thank you.